Hello everybody, Antoine here from Sim Architecture and welcome back to a new video that you've been waiting for a long time I think because it's been quite a long time since I didn't build a palace or an historical build so today I'm back with a Russian palace which is inspired by some palaces that you can see in Russia especially in St. Petersburg which is probably the best city to visit if you're into palaces because there's so many of them in the city it's just crazy like in every street there's palace so yeah it was a huge source of inspiration for me because i really like russian architecture especially the one from saint petersburg as i told you and i had in mind to build like a small palace not a huge one like the catherine palace or the hermitage so i decided to build like a small palace that could be located in the park of the bigger palace um, it doesn't have a specific name because this is not a recreation of an existing palace. Um, we can call it the Golden Palace because it's all uh, yellow and golden, so maybe it could be a name. This palace is built on a 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg. Um, and it's facing the ocean, which is really cool. And yeah, in addition, you know that I bought uh, recently um, The Sims 4 Seasons, so building a Russian palace in the snow was something really great. And you will see in the screenshots that I took some pictures under the snow and it just looks perfect. It actually made me think of the Anastasia movie. I'm sure you've already seen it. It's um, based on the life of Anastasia, which was from the... Um, Imperial family and she forget who she is and she's trying to find her past and she discovers that she belonged to the royal family of Russia and this movie is really beautiful because you can see many palaces um, and it was really a great source of inspiration as well and it's probably one of my favorite animation movies so if you still didn't like um, didn't see it sorry I really recommend you to to do so because it's really fantastic. So yeah, this palace is not that huge actually. Um, there are like a central part, which is just the staircase. And there are like four little pavilion around uh, the main uh, building, which are connected with small corridors. And in each pavilion, there is a different room. So I built a, a living room, a music room, a um, inner pool and also um, a dining room of course and upstairs there's a bathroom and a bedroom so it's not meant to be a palace where you live during a long time maybe you can spend a night there it's rather like you know a small uh, palace where you can spend the afternoon because the um, real palace is just next to it so yeah, it just could be like a tea house or something like this. It was really on vogue back in the time, like um, even in Versailles, for example, there is the French pavilion just next to the Petit Riano. And it was actually a tea house, just a house where you were resting after a walk uh, in the garden. We also call them uh, a folly, um, which is which can be translated with uh, a menace or a craziness, if it makes sense, I don't know. Uh, it just means that it's something, um, yeah, a bit crazy that you're building in a garden just on a entertainment purpose. So yeah, it was inspired by this um, trend back in time. So this building is completely symmetrical. And I used many items made by Alexander. Uh, by the way, Alexander is currently building, uh, creating, sorry, um, the Hall of Mirrors from Versailles in The Sims 4. So I'm really, really excited. Like it's probably the thing I've been waiting for in my whole Sima life. So yeah, be sure I will do a Hall of Mirrors video when it comes out. And I'm really, really excited about this project. Um, I could also tell you about the exterior of this build, which was just like the rest of the building, really symmetrical, really classical. Uh, I used 
the same flowers everywhere, yellow flowers, just to keep the same colors. There is a path that goes all around the palace with several fountains everywhere. It's, yeah, because it's mainly a uh, summer palace, because, you know, winter's Russia is really cold, so I thought that a small palace like this would be mainly used for summer. And also in the garden, I decided to build many, uh, like, antique vase, which were uh, designed by Jim07, if I remember well. And I put some fountains inside just to make it look even more fancy. So, yes, I really tried to do a really luxurious palace, something really over the top. So, I hope uh, I managed to do so. But this is probably one of my favorite palaces I've built so far in The Sims 4 because it's really different from the other buildings I built. It's not something really traditional. Um, it's quite original, to be honest. Like, um, Russian architecture in general looks pretty exotic to me because it's a mix of Western and Eastern influences, but altogether it just super impressive. Uh, if you're curious, you can maybe check my, um, well, my second um, Instagram account, which is not on 20BN, which is my personal account, but it's VersaySadness, where I publish pictures uh, from many different palaces and of course a lot from Russia because the palaces there are absolutely fantastic and really impressive. And so if you go to this account, you will see that there are many, um, many palaces that just don't look like the palaces we have here uh, in Western Europe. And it's just great to see something different sometimes. And yeah, I'm really a big fan of Russian architecture. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this place. Uh, it's something really different, I think, from the other buildings I did before. And I know that a lot of you were waiting for such an, histor an historical build because, um, yeah, it's been quite a long time since I didn't build one. But, you know, I, I just needed a break. Like, um, I wanted to build, like, normal houses or American spirit houses because it's something that I really like. And as I told you in some other videos, I just want to, I just don't want to be only building, um, historical buildings. My name is, my YouTube name is Sim Architecture and it means that I'm building all the kind of architecture I like, not only one. So it can be a normal house, a modern villa, a huge palace or a California mansion. It could be anything, just things I like and I just don't want to build only one style because um, you know, I'm a really creative person and I need to try different things. If I'm only building the same things, I will just run out of inspiration and this is definitely not what we want. Um, so yeah, about a channel or so, we're now more than 12,000, so thank you everybody for being here. Uh, I have, like, great project for next year. Um, I think around November... Well, let's say between November and January, I'm gonna build, buy, or build maybe, I don't know, uh, a new computer. So I will keep my current computer just to go to the university, take notes, uh, watch some movies. But I would like to build, sorry, to buy a real gaming computer or a laptop, I still don't know, um, to have my game running with um, the best graphics because my current graphics are not the best, you probably noticed it. So yeah, I really want to have better quality videos just for you guys and for me because it's really more enjoyable. Like uh, a few weeks ago I played at a friend's uh, on her computer, which was a really expensive computer. Uh, I played The Sims 4 on this computer and it was just crazy, like the game looks so much different. Um, so yeah, it just made me realize I need to buy one if I want to enhance the quality of my videos. So this is the main project for the channel so far. And I think once I have this computer, we'll be able to do really m more elaborate videos. 
and I'm sure you will like it. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really happy to know what you think about this build in the comments. Uh, I really enjoyed this build, so I hope we'll also enjoy it. And I will see you next time. Bye.